You know, the greatest threat to the black community is not racism per se, but it is the decrease in marriages and relationship stability. You know, um, I was watching a um, YouTuber by the name of O'Shea Duke Jackson, and he was talking about this ad behind me, which displays, um, it's a JC Penny ad, which displays a black family and a white family. The only difference between the two is, is that the black family has a single mom with two children, single black mom with two children and a white family with a husband, a wife and children. And so there was an outrage because of, of the comparisons, you know, uh, in the black community, for the most part, uh, the black woman and the single black woman is uplifted and put it on the pedestal in our communities, but here, I guess they had a problem because from what um, O.C. Drew Jackson was saying, and I agree with him, is that, you know, they were doing a comparison, right? And so a lot of people got upset about that. But the comparison is actually true, right? When you think about um, uh, single black families versus single white families. Uh, when you look at um, black women per se, you know, when, when you talk about and go back to 1950, all the way to 2019, there has been a decrease of 95%, from 95% to 27% of black women being married. When, uh, before 1970, a black woman was more likely to be married than a white woman. So that has completely changed today. And I know many people blame institutional racism, uh, blame um, mass incarceration, and all different types of, of, of institutional racism and structural racism uh, blames are put on that. And to a certain degree, I do agree with that, you know, and, and but here's the problem, right? And I'm not blaming hip hop, but you know, in that culture, it's a reflection of our community. And what you have is um, people like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Sexy Red, um, Sukihana and all these different um, young women who are, you know, only seen, you know, some might be married, but the way they carry themselves in the media, right? Um, it, it, it represents a corrupt culture in the black community and a moral decay of what's happening in the black community. And we have to fix that. And so if we're going to fix the problems that we have in the black community, the greatest divide is between the black man and the black woman. And we have to be able to fix that, right? 52% um, of black men never been married, 50% of black women that have never been married. So there's most definitely a huge problem in black men and black women meeting, finding the relationship between each other and getting married, right? There's a huge problem with that. And racism per se has nothing to do with that. You know, the white man's not telling the, the black woman, the black man not to get married, but there are a lot of different underlying issues at play. And some of that is institutional racism. But I think what we have to look at when we talk about that, we have to look at ourselves and, and find some solutions. So what we need in our community, we need our black young women, black girls to be raised in the traditional way of a mother, father in the home, but also being raised and taught, right? How to grow up and be a beautiful, stronger black woman, but also be a suitable help me to her husband, right? They, they need to be taught that. They need to be mentored in that. We need the media to stop uplifting, right? Um, the moral decay of even our young men and our young women and, and all the things that we see in this hip hop culture. They, we need the media to stop showcasing that there are plenty of families and black families that you actually can't showcase to try to uplift and try to eliminate that gap between the black man and the black woman and um, the, the unmarried gap, right? Between the black and the black family, or I should say between the black man and the black woman, what have you. Uh, myself, uh, when, when you look at me, I've been married, what? 38 years to one wife, right? 38 years, um, uh, July 5th, I should say, will be uh, 38 years that I've been married, uh, raised raised seven children, right, in the, in the same home, and now have grandchildren. 
uh, being that example too, along with their parents, right? But I see a lot of this in, in the communities that, are, that I'm a part of, where black men are technically, black men are leading, but it's far in between and we don't lift up, we don't promote and we don't talk about that. What we lift up and what we talk about and what we promote in the black community, even among white folks, what they promote in the black community are single black mothers, right? Single black women. And I have nothing against that. I'm married to a black woman, right? And my mom was black, so, and my grandparents were black. So I, I uh, black women. So I have, uh, the, that's not the issue. The issue is, is that we're trying to fix this and we're trying to cure this and we want this to be healed, right? And the way we find a solution to this, we need mental, we need the media to come into play. We need to celebrate marriage and celebrate the positivity of a black man and a black woman being together, living together, getting along together, working their issues out together, right? Solving their problems together. We have to be able to do that. And there's a plethora, long list of things that we could talk about and do, but I did want to touch on that, of what Duke O'Shea Jackson talked about, about this racist ad that some call racist, but I think it is a good talking point from the perspective of addressing black marriage because we do have a serious problem in black marriage. And I think for the most part of that black marriage, it's us and, what, and the narratives that we have bought into versus racism oppressing us and causing that huge divide. All right, God bless you.